this session was really, uh, I saw a lot of non-binding resolutions, a lot of time dealing with issues that the state government should be dealing with that didn't bind anyone. So we're calling this the non-binding session. Because if you look at the things that were accomplished, um, there were very few and far between and have little to do with the future of the state of Missouri. The biggest disappointment this session has been the lack of uh, realism when it comes to the budget situation that we're in. House Democrats have continually asked for a balanced approach on the budget. We understood cuts were necessary, but real reform when it comes to tax credits to get, ri get rid of wasteful giveaways to big companies was needed. This Republican majority decided not to do that. Um, real ways to try to figure out more revenue into the state, this Republican majority, and particularly the Speaker of the House, didn't want to do that. So next year, the General Assembly is going to be dealt a even worse budget situation because of the inaction of the uh, Republican leadership. Um, additionally, we didn't see a jobs bill. People in the state of Missouri need jobs, and there was a lack of discussion basically because this speaker and this Republican majority decided to, that it was more important to fight with the Senate than try to get something done. Um, so it's pretty disappointing. One thing that did happen, two things I should, should mention. First, there was finally, finally coverage for autism. This is a bill that House Democrats have been pushing for, a bill that we were promised to be the first bill out of the chute. We finally got that done. And that wouldn't have happened without the persistence of the people behind me. And there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of families who benefit from that. And that wouldn't happen without this caucus. One thing that also would never happen, there never would have been anything near an ethics reform bill. Now, the sponsor of the bill today said no one with a straight face can say this is a watered down bill. And I'm telling you, I'm going to try to be as straight as I can. This is a watered down ethics reform bill. And ethics reform is certainly should not be considered done in the state capitol. And you continue to do those things that increase accountability and trust with the people of Missouri. Primarily of those things are renewing the campaign finance limits that the people of Missouri believe in. It does not make sense for one member of the legislature to get a $100,000 donation and not think or not wonder if that money affects the, their job in this building. It's not right. We push for it. If it was up to this speaker, um, nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened. They tried to use ways to not to bring the, the uh, bill. These guys didn't let it happen. We kept pushing, and we saw some modest uh, proposals. We're glad that there's a ban on committee to committee transfers. We've been pushing for that. That was only one of the four things the governor was asking for as well. So we moved in the right direction, but I can tell you, we're not done with ethics reform. This caucus is not done, and we're going to continue to push for those type of things to help the people of Missouri. So the non-binding session is over. With that said, what questions do you have? Uh, well, my understanding was if the House moved on one bill, the Senate would move on another one. But it looked to me like the Senator from Cape Girardeau was in charge of the House of Representatives. And that's, that was the attempt. Um, he, he wanted his bill heard, but he didn't want to uh, hear a bill that would actually um, we passed out of this house. So that, that is the perfect example of the lack of leadership and, and lack of uh, working together that the speaker has shown. They, there wasn't going to be a budget on that. There never has been a budget this whole session to try to deal with the real issues. And uh, you know, I'm not surprised that nothing happened at the last minute. You can't, you can't do this one last day. You have to um, work with the other side of the building and try to work with everybody in the building to get things done for the people of Missouri. Were you expecting something to come to the floor in that last hour? I wasn't expecting them to do that. Uh, okay. No, I mean, well, I wasn't expecting them at all. You, you mentioned the disappointment about no jobs creation bill. Why do you think there wasn't one? Why do I think there wasn't one? I think there wasn't one because the Speaker of the House decided that um, there would be no reform when it comes to tax credits, and it was important to the Senate, and he wouldn't budge on it. 